Hello guys, welcome to Civil Concept and in this video I am going to show you how to calculate cement, sand and aggregate for a concrete in a slab. So you can see here, this is a slab and its dimension are for example this is our width, okay. So this is the width of the slab and its width is how much uh, you can see here. Uh, its width is 24 feet, okay, and uh, its length is how much 40 feet and its thickness, okay. So its thickness is how much 5 inch, okay. So uh, we are going to calculate the cement, sand and aggregate for this slab, okay. So let's start our video. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, uh, you don't uh, uh, have knowledge about Excel sheet. I will show you from beginning, okay. So here this is, you can see this is the Excel sheet and uh, this is the work uh, space of the excel sheet okay so i am showing you from the beginning from the basic okay so first of all i am creating a heading okay so for heading just click on any cell this is known as this uh, smallest unit is known as cell okay so just click on any cell and uh, uh, type here sn okay so this is i am putting here serial number after that i am putting here description okay description okay now if you want to increase the width of this cell then just drag from here okay from middle portion of c and d column you can drag from here to here and you can increase the width okay now what i am doing first of all in one number one i am doing what length okay so length in number two width after that in number three i am putting here thickness okay thickness okay now here i will put here dimension dimension again you can see here this uh, letter is going outside of this uh, cell so you can increase again its uh, width okay now the length of uh, this slab is almost 40 feet okay so its length is almost 40 feet i am putting here 40 feet 40 feet okay and again its uh, width is almost 24 feet so i am putting here width is 24 feet and uh, thickness is how much 5 inch you can see here this is 5 inch so i am putting here 5 inch 5 inch but guys you can here see here this uh, its unit is in feet feet and inch so all we have to convert it into meter okay i am using formula here i am making just simple calculation to convert inch or feet into meter okay so to convert feet into meter just to have to divide uh, by 3.28 okay because one meter is equals to how much equals to one uh, 3.28 feet okay okay we have conversion factor is this and one feet one feet is equals to how much 12 inch okay so we have to convert this feet into meter okay so i am giving here uh, dimension in meter okay meter again i am increasing the width of this cell okay now we have to convert this feet into meter so what we do just click in this cell i will put the value in this cell equals to this feet divided by 3.28 in turn okay so you will get this value in meter okay so again i am converting this feet value into meter so put here equals to this cell divided by 3.28 okay enter so you will get this much meter okay again we have to convert this inch into meter so put here equals to this inch first of all we have to convert it into feet so divide it by 12 okay so we have divided it by 12 and we got this value in feet so i am uh, closing it uh, with a bracket a small bracket and this is this value is again in feet so we have to again converting it into meter so again divide uh, by 3.28 and this inch value will uh, become our meter okay so you can see here uh, 5 inch equals to this this much meter okay so you can see there are uh, many numbers uh, after this decimal point so you can increase or decrease from here okay so if we click here then we can round off this number again i am rounding off uh, this number up to four digit okay again i am rounding off uh, this number up to four digit okay so we have got all the dimension length width and depth of this uh, uh, slab in meter okay so i will calculate the total volume okay total volume 
okay to calculate the volume just we have to multiply length width and height okay so put here equals to this cell multiply this cell multiply this cell okay it means uh, length multiply width multiply thickness okay equals to we will get how much this much volume but guys this is our weight volume okay so this is our weight volume of concrete we have to convert it into dry volume because dry volume is always greater than the uh, weight volume so we have to multiply it by 1.54 because uh, dry volume is uh, 52 percent to 54 percent more than weight volume okay so just uh, uh, to convert it into dry volume what we have to do this cell equals to this multiply 1.54 okay it means that we have added 54 uh, 54 percent more uh, in uh, concrete okay and if you are a civil engineer then you better know why we have to convert weight volume into dry volume okay so guys we have calculated the volume of concrete in this slab now we have to calculate the cement sand and aggregate okay so first of all uh, it depend on the grade okay so i am putting here grade of concrete okay again you can see this letter is going outside of this uh, cell so increasing it okay so the volume of cement sand and aggregates depend on the grade of concrete okay either it may be m20 m15 m25 it is okay for example i am taking m20 grade of concrete okay so in m20 grade of concrete we have cement parts is one and sand part is 1.5 okay and aggregate part is how much three okay okay so this is our cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade of concrete if we are using m15 grade of concrete then we have to provide one two four okay so it depends on the m20 grade of concrete now add all these three value i will tell you why we have to add this plus this plus and this enter okay so it become 5.5 this uh, addition of this uh, three ratios will become 5.5 uh, we will use it this in formula okay okay now we have to calculate the volume of cement okay same volume of sand similarly volume of aggregate okay okay so here we will use in this three cell we have to use the formula okay so you can see on the screen the formula to calculate volume of cement will be part of cement okay divided by total sum of this ratio either it be of m15 m20 m25 grade of uh, concrete okay and multiply by with volume of concrete okay which is dry volume so i will use this formula on this cell so equals to part of cement divided by sum of this ratio multiply what our dry volume which is our 17.45 meter cube okay equals to so you can see here this is our volume of cement okay guys so i am uh, uh putting here unit and this is uh meter cube guys this is only for rock calculation you can put this unit here okay our weight volume uh, dry volume you can arrange here okay so uh, i will show you in next video that how will you arrange the heading of this uh, uh, calculation in a right manner okay so again i am uh, returning back to the volume of sand and it's again formula is part of sand okay part of sand divided by the total uh, sum of the ratio and multiply it with dry volume okay dry volume equals to and again for aggregate the part of aggregate divided by total uh, sum of the ratio multiply by its dry volume because okay guys this all volume will be in our meter cube okay so meter cube and same for all the volume sand and aggregate okay so you can see here 3.1 meter cube uh, of cement required 4.7 meter cube of sand required and 9.5 meter cube of aggregate will require to uh, construct this uh, slab okay now we have to convert this cement into bags okay so it is in volume so just we have to first of all convert it into kg okay so weight will be weight formula is equals to what volume into density okay okay i am using this formula in this cell equals to volume is equals to what volume is given by this multiply 
and density will be 1440 you have to remember this because density of cement always remains 1440 okay in turn and you will get how much 4570 kg this is our kg of cement but when we convert it into bags then we have to divide by 50 equals to this divide by 50 because one bag of cement contains 50 kg of cement and enter okay so you will get this is the bags of cement okay so this is our bags of cement and you will require require this much 91.4 bags of cement if we round off uh, then we can take 92 bags of cement and 4.7 meter cube of sand and uh, 9.5 meter cube of aggregate okay guys now it's turn to decorate this calculation okay so first of all you can see this letter is uh, in the left side of this cell this letter is in the left side of this cell and uh, this letter is right uh, uh, side of this uh, cell okay but I want to put all the letter uh, in the cell at the middle of the cell okay so just uh, uh, cover this area by dragging up click on this uh, line okay center so you can see here all the letter came to the center okay now uh, if you want to bold this uh, uh, heading then you can uh, click on the bold and if you want to color it then you can uh, click here background color as a value okay now if you want to draw line between this calculation then just uh, uh, select this area and click here and click here all border okay so you can see here all the lines has uh, cover all this area and again i want to highlight this uh, area also so i will highlight it with uh, blue color and make it bold okay and if you want to change the color of this letter then just click uh, on this letter and uh, uh, click on any color which you want so i am putting here what uh, for example red color okay so i am putting a red color okay guys this is our calculation and if we change here for example 40 feet if you change here for example 50 feet and enter then you can see here all the values has been changed you don't have to uh, do again this calculation okay so just to have to change here the width thickness and length or you can also highlight this area to indicate that this is the input okay so input will be our in green color and the letter will be our white color okay and also i am making it bold okay so guys you only just have to change the length width and height or thickness of the slab you will get the answer in this uh, excel sheet and you can also highlight this answer uh, like uh, i am giving it purple color and uh, bolding it okay so guys our excel sheet is ready okay so in this way we can calculate the cement sand and aggregate for required volume of concrete either it be a slab beam or column okay so this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you